Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurologist from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the books Focus Neurology and Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology. My email is sriklpm at gmail.com. We are continuing with the series of neuroimaging concepts and today we are going to discuss functional MRI. Functional MRI neuroimaging concepts part 19. Functional MRI. We have lot of MRI sequences to detect structural pathology. For example, to detect the various metabolites produced by the tumor, we have MRS. To delineate the vascular anatomy, we have MR angiogram. To find out whether there is ischemia or ischemic penumbra, we have diffusion perfusion imaging. To detect hemorrhagic changes, we have SWI sequence. To detect early blood impairment, we have DW diffusion weighted imaging. So we have lot of MRI sequences to detect structural changes in MRI. But do we have any sequence which detects the functional aspects of the brain or the cognitive neurology? Very interesting. Do we have any sequence to detect the functional aspects of brain, not the structural aspects, but the functional aspects of the brain that is the cognitive neurology. So suppose a person is thinking or suppose the person is using his right hand, suppose the person is speaking or he wants to speak, can we by doing MRI pick up these changes, the cognitive neurology? We have a sequence known as functional MRI. For example, if the person wants to tap with his fingers, there are changes which is going to appear in the precentral gyrus. If we are going to tap the right hand, the changes appear in the precentral gyrus on the left side. So if, a, if we want to speak, the changes start appearing in the perisylvian area. Any change regarding the vision, it starts appearing in the occipital cortex. So, the functional aspects of cognitive neurology can be appreciated by this technique functional MRI. So very interesting, very fascinating. So there are several techniques of functional imaging which have been introduced to study the activation of regions of cerebral cortex during mental and physical actions or experiences. So we have so many sequences finding out the structural changes, but we do have a sequence, the functional MRI to detect the mental actions or the experiences. The MRI based functional technique shows changes in the local cerebral blood oxygenation a surrogate for the local neuronal metabolic activity. So this MRI based functional technique shows a change in the local cerebral blood oxygenation a surrogate for local neuronal metabolic activity. So if I want to use my right hand, there will be increased blood flow to the precentral gyrus on the left side. So increased blood flow by measuring the increased oxygen level in the blood flow to that particular area, we can know the functional aspects of the brain. So these changes are quantified as the blood oxygen level dependent known as BOLD, B-O-L-D. The blood oxygen level dependent signal and evolve over 10 to 15 seconds following a change in neuronal activity. In addition to its research application in cognitive neuroscience, this technique also has clinical utility including pre-surgical planning in tumor and epilepsy surgery. 
functional MRI data paired with connectome maps has been used to visualize task associated and resting state network activation maps in the brain. So if we see this diagram, we'll be able to understand better. So this is the functional MRI. So the blood oxygen level dependent bold functional MRI. The image shown is from a subject performing a repetitive motor functioning like tapping a button with his right finger superimposed upon the grayscale structural MRI are areas of altered bold signal in color associated with the task. So these are all the changes. The most prominent signal, the yellow in the left lateral cerebral cortex corresponds to the right hand area of the precentral and postcentral gyri. Other areas of lesser signals, the red, orange, include the supplementary motor areas which is near the midline anteriorly. So this is functional MRI, the blood oxygen level dependent functional MRI. So very interesting, very fascinating. We have MRI sequences which is very useful for cognitive neurology also, not just for structural uh, changes of the cortex. So the other important concepts of clinical neurology, especially useful for exams, the exam oriented clinical neurology, I put in a book called Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology written by me, Dr. Srinivas. This book is useful for students, especially appearing for clinical neurology exams. And if interested, this book could be purchased. The other book I've written is Focused Neurology, written by me, Dr. Srinivas, wherein I put all the important concepts of neurology in a question and answer format. So if interested, this book could be purchased online from all leading booksellers, including Amazon. I hope you have enjoyed listening to these wonderful concepts of functional MRI. If you have enjoyed, please like and share the link. But please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts, which is India's leading neurology educational YouTube channel. And also my FB page, Dr. Srinivas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.